Okay, now we're going to replace the front speakers that are in the door on the Boxster. Going to be replacing them with these Focal speakers that I got from Crutchfield. The first step is going to be to remove this door panel. And the first part of that is to remove, they call this the little sail here. And I have a prior removal tool that I'm just going to get under the bottom edge, pry it away from the bottom. And be gentle so I don't break anything back here. And just lift it up and away. You can see this tab right here hooks right in there. All right, next, if you pull up on the door handle, right in here, you'll see a T20 and remove that. It will look like this. So the instructions I got from Crutchfield say to raise this door pocket and in here, there's supposed to be an exposed screw to remove, but I have no screws in here. So the next step is to pry this away from the front and underneath and then to pull down on it to release the other two clips. So let me okay. pry that away. Okay, that came off very easily, maybe a little too easily. Is that a broken tab? I can't tell. There's nothing broken, so if it was broken, it was broken before I got here. Uh, so this is the next one that needs to be removed. It is a T30, I believe. Yes, this one's a T30. So remove this. And that one's really long. Okay, there's a clip ring at the bottom of that handle that you are supposed to pry out. Let's see. Aha, there we go in from the side. Take that off gently. That's what this piece looks like. Now there's another T30 here to remove. Alright, the one from this hole is even longer. So if you want to compare them, yes, much longer than the other one. Okay, now the next step is to pry underneath from the bottom and around the front. So I could hear one clip come out. To, so I'm going to pry all the way around and up the side here. And it says to get an assistant to help you hold this panel. You don't need to remove it completely. Plus there's an airbag there, so if you did disconnect it, uh, you would want to make sure you unplug the battery first or you're going to get the airbag warning light until you get that factory reset. So I'm going to get an assistant and uh, just pull the rest of these clips off and hold it. That should allow us to get back in behind this speaker and remove it. Okay, the panel is separated here. You can see that there is, there are two wires that are still three wires that are still attached that we will leave on there and down here you can see where the speaker is and there should be a few uh, looks like four Phillips screws holding it in so we're gonna remove those 
Okay, after you take those four off, you can see the speaker here. So, probably just prize out. Let's see. Well, here is the cable to disconnect it. Press those two tabs in and pull that out. All right, the instructions say you can just take this speaker out, but uh, it doesn't come out easily. So for this first one, at least, to figure out what exactly is going on, there seem to be four of these T20s around the four corners. So I'm going to take those out and remove this whole plastic box. Okay, the whole thing just lifts out once you undo these four. And this tab actually, after I undid it, snapped and uh, fell off on the floor down there. But um, it is out now, so there is our wiring that comes in. And this whole thing is enclosed, so I think I'm just going to get a flathead screwdriver and pry under here to try to get it off. Yeah, flathead was all it took. It was just kind of uh, stuck on there from time. So now it has two simple connectors that we can just undo. So that's nice. So maybe you don't have to remove this whole thing after all. You can take these connectors off and connect them to your new speaker. Alright, after disconnecting these two, you're just going to take your new speaker and connect them. There's one larger one, one smaller one, so you can't mess it up on that one. And then we're going to drop it back down in. So Crutchfield told me these were direct replacements, but as you can see, only two of these holes are going to line up. The other two are going to be off slightly. So we might have to only put it in with two and this thing is odd. It rotates around but as you can see it is uh, tilted in one direction. They both like that so I need to figure out what way that's supposed to aim. Okay this speaker also comes with a a little bag of these with some screws so what I'm going to do is cut just the tip of this off so that I can get a screw into that hole and put one of these over it here screw it in and it'll press down and it will hold that corner down it looks like so I'm going to try that and as you can see perfectly on these corners. All right, no need to replace that wire mesh. Just stick these back in and put everything back together. All right, just line this up over the edge and then push all of those rivets back in. If any of them broke, you want to replace them and uh, screw everything back together. Ah, interesting, on my driver's side door, there is actually another uh, Torx screw in there. And of course, the little wind sail on this side has your mirror controls, so it's all wired up there. Oh, correction, that is a Phillips, or was a Phillips. Okay, what the crap? This thing is a plastic screw, first of all. 
and I could turn it barely since it's partially stripped but it just kept turning and turning and turning so finally I just used these and popped it out like a pop rivet but that was uh, some terrible design also note on these that they have an arrow indicating which direction is up so this came off the left side the driver's side and this is the up correct orientation to go back on there all right, so the driver's side door is definitely different Not just with that screw, but apparently there is another one uh, Now that I have the door all the tabs off I can see down in there it seems like there is another one further back behind this airbag thing here uh, But I've heard that that's very easy to break so I'm gonna to try to reach in from behind and see if I can get that pushed out so I can get uh, something back there to get this last screw out. Okay, it wasn't really that bad. I just uh, stuck the pry tool on the bottom. So if I marred it, it wouldn't be that noticeable and just very slowly pulled and it pulled itself through all this leather and stuff. But yeah, as you can see back there, we got one more bolt holding this thing in. Okay, this thing seems to be a T25. He's a weird, squirrely looking little guy. It might not even be a Torx bit, but somebody has put it in an app before. So I did not do all that. Okay, got the driver's side one out. All four of these are intact this time. And I learned my lesson, just pull this thing out and then take this all off while it's out of the car and it's a lot easier. All right, that's it. They're back in, everything looks factory. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I will be adding another video that you're going to need if you added these front speakers, because these are four ohms. You're gonna need an amp, so we're gonna replace our factory amp that is right under here with a new one that we got from Crutchfield. Also this, uh, this Alpine amp right here. We're going to be putting that in in the next video.